So fear is living in the past. Now let's look at this at, at a soul condition, at an emotional level. So at the emotional level, what's going on inside of myself is this. I am afraid of, and let's put something in its place. What are you generally afraid of? So give me something. Rats. You're afraid of rats, okay. Look, let's say rats. Who's afraid of rats, by the way? Or mice, or any rodents, or any cockroaches, or snakes, or any other creature? Okay, so quite a few. Okay. Spiders, funnel web spiders, whatever. Right. Now, all of this is actually living in the past. Now, let's illustrate it. Something happened when I was little, or something happened to my parents when probably they were little, that caused this emotion to enter them that they became afraid of rats. I had a friend, and I think I've mentioned this before, but I had a friend who's afraid of moths. The reason why she was afraid of moths was when she was very, very young, about three months of age, her older brother, who was about three or four years of age, got one of those great big rain moths. You have seen those, right? They're out when they're wet, where they're out. And that she, he put it un, inside of her clothes in the crib. And she just was all this fluttering going on and this moving thing going on inside of there and she just went berserk and her mum come along of course to find her and she's just <laughs> crying, crying, crying and in this really state of terror, right, at this point, right, and, and her mum her, her didn't realise what was going on and so left the moth there, right, until the mum realised of course that it was actually to do, and until she undressed her, she didn't realise that this moth had actually created all this fuss, right? <laughs> anyway, so that was the event. Now this lady is a police officer now, but she's still afraid of moths. So when she goes up to a door at night, to knock on somebody's door to actually look after sort of like a domestic violence situation or something like that, if the light's on and there's moths around it, she can't go in. Just, that's just one thing. Now what's actually happening is she is living in the past. She's living in that three month old event that's not being released. Can you see that? And it's dictating to her the rest of her life. Right? What happens the rest of her life. Now fortunately she can control moths a fair bit. You know, there's such a thing as fly screens, which is a great fear-based invention. And there's all these other types of inventions that can help us to actually prevent these creatures from touching my skin, right? And so what happens is that all of that can be normally done. And then we have all of these sealed offices where we seal off everything and we seal off all the rooms and then we air condition them and, and get all that happening because it's nice and comfortable of course which obviously also gets rid of us from feeling hot or cold or cold by the way is fear based usually and hot by the way generally is anger based but anyway we forget all about all that and what we do is we go instead into this pristine environment so there's no moss around and I can feel comfortable. And so I don't notice this fear is dictating anything to my life anymore until I hit the event. Which, of course, the law of attraction will always bring me. Okay? So any fear of any animal basically is bas a thing of living in the past. So how do we deal with that? Well, first we feel our terror about the event in the past. That's what we need to start doing. Now that means actually allowing ourselves to bodily experience this terror and fear that's within us and experience that emotionally and then go into the underlying emotions. And you know what it will be for this lady? It will be that she felt abandoned by those who loved her through the experience. Right? So there'll be some very, very strong emotions about love involved and to be frank with you, almost every fear you have is going to end up being an emotion about love in some way being involved that you're afraid to experience. So the same goes with a snake or a spider or a rat or a mouse or a cockroach or a, any of these physical creatures. You see, when you're in a pristine, loving state, all of these animals will just work in harmony with you. So you can walk through an infested mosquito-infested swamp 
and you won't have one of them touch you huh? when you're in this state. That's the state of celestial spirits in, right? They don't have that happen. Even if they came to earth and materialised, they don't have all these mosquitoes sucking their blood, right? Because they're in this state of love that everything around them is automatically acting in harmony with them and them in harmony with everything around them. Does that make sense to everyone? All right, so it's our fear that causes us to live in the past. And the way that it causes us to do it is that it connects us with the emo unhealed emotion within us that we're not willing to release. And that unhealed emotion basically drives our fears. And so we're really living as a three-year-old in that situation or a five-year-old, or a seven-year-old, or a ten-year-old, whatever it was that created the event we're afraid of feeling about, that becomes the frozen emotion that generates everything. Can you see that? 